Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since you've spoken. Um, it's not so much that I haven't had anything or any time to blog or vlog at all this week. It's more along the lines of I haven't had anything worthwhile saying, so I figured why waste your time? Um, so I just didn't say anything. Um, so I posted on Facebook that I wanted to do a vlog today and that I didn't really have any ideas. And a um, friend of mine, Jen, suggested um, a little video on, on tips to be successful. Um, and I thought that was a great idea. I I wouldn't consider myself a fairly, I mean, severely accomplished person. Like, I'm not crazy accomplished, but I feel like, you know, I, I'm pretty successful, and I and I do what I do well, and um, I think I may have something actually kind of viable to offer you guys. So I put together um, a top five list of my tips that I've done to, um, for being successful, and they may not work for everyone, but I thought, you know... Um, if you guys take one thing away from this video, then then I've helped somebody, and, and that's really kind of what I wanted to do when I started this channel was, you know, it was beauty reviews and that type of thing, sure, but it was more along the lines of how can I help you guys, and what do I know um, in my almost 30 years of being on this earth that I can share with you guys um, that will enrich your life in some way. So my first tip, and I'm going to try and keep this video short, um, although it may run a little while longer so I will put my five tips below and because I may have a little story to go with every one of them um, so you can kind of like jump forward or back or you know if you are successful and you don't need this video thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time um, so my number one or my uh, number five I guess my first tip for being successful is to be organized and note driven so for example even for this video I wrote down my notes of the things that I wanted to talk about I think that Organizing yourself and being organized is the number one thing that, or one of the number one things that you can do, or one of the main things you can do, sorry, not one of the number one things, but one of the main things you can do to be successful when you have a lot of ideas going through your head and you have a lot of projects going on at once, it's really super important to have file folders and, you know, be organized and have things color coded, take lots of notes, write down everything that you think because you never know what will come of anything. And um, I should preface this by saying that these necessarily aren't tips for a specific type of industry or uh, maybe their personal, you know, they could apply to your personal life as well. Um, so, you know, kind of take these and apply, you know, where you see that they fit. And if you want more information on a specific type of thing, um, I'm happy to do that too. Um, the second thing that I would say, um, it's actually really important, is to surround yourself with amazing people. I think that a lot of people get caught up in, I want to have a lot of friends, I want to have a really active social life, and I think that the people that are around you are one of the biggest influencers in whether you're successful in life or not. If you feel like you're around people who kind of work at the lowest level of the class or aren't very accomplished in their own right, it it tends to hold you back, um, whether there's unspoken jealousy, whether there's, so sorry, I'm just going to get comfortable here for a second, cross my legs, um, you know, whether there's unspoken jealousy, whether there, you know, no one wants to be ostracized, and so I think as people, we tend to work and succeed at the level of the people around us, and I think surrounding yourself with important people and amazing people that you admire um, is one of the main keys to being successful. Um, on that same note, I also believe that it is better to be alone than it is to be around people who aren't going to support you in what you do. So, for example, when I was writing Collide, um, or when I was talking about writing Collide, I had a couple of people that said, you know, you, you don't have a degree in English. You, you, you know, you don't really kind of know what you're doing. You've never done this before, so how do you ever expect to get anywhere? Um, those people aren't my friends anymore, you know, and I think that it's, it's, it's harsh and it's tough, but I feel like life is too short to be surrounded by people who are not going to support you. Um, so get rid of those people. That's kind of my big thing. Um, I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather be alone than be surrounded by people who aren't 100% backing me and are not going to lift me up, um, as I do for them. So I think that's really important. My next tip um, is kind of a little hypocritical, um, but it's fake it till you make it, but be authentic, which I know faking it and being authentic are two completely different concepts. But I think that, let me tell you a little story. Um, you know, when I was younger, I had a lot of um, self-esteem issues, you know, as any young girl does. I think when you're in high school, everything is, you know, will she like me? Will he like me? What's wrong with me? You know, all that kind of stuff. So everyone has self-esteem issues at some point. Um, and it can especially hinder you with, you know, career-wise. And I think that when you have self-esteem issues, it's really easy to transition into depression. 
um, sorry, keep my laptop on. Um, you know, it's really easy to transition from being insecure and having self-esteem issues to being depressed. And I remember going, you know, being at a point, um, you know, a couple of years back when we were, Nick and I were first married where I wasn't liking who I was. Um, and I wasn't going in the direction that I wanted to go in. And I remembered, I remember looking at myself in the mirror one day and saying, this isn't who you are and this certainly isn't the girl you want to be. So as of today, you're putting on a smile, you're changing your attitude. If you spend half the energy that you expend being negative into being positive, think of what you can accomplish. And did I feel like a fake for the first six months? Absolutely. Um, I, I was definitely in a, in a darker place than I am now. And I think that you just eventually, when you, when you start faking it, um, you eventually become the person that you convince yourself and you convince others that you are. Um, so that's the fake it part. The be authentic part is also, if you're insecure or you're, you have self-esteem issues, I think that you're, you're not being true to your authentic self and you're not accepting yourself for who you are. So I would say be authentic in the way that you want to be and fake it and treat, trick yourself into being that person until you are that person. And I promise you, before you know it, you're going to be the person you want to be, um, your tr which is I, what I believe is your true authentic self. Um, and you won't even realize the transition. One day you'll wake up and, and, and all of the negativity will be gone um, when you've surrounded yourself with the right people and you've, you've faked it that long. Um, that you just will be that person. It, it's really 99% in your head. Um, my next tip is never be ashamed of what you do and who you are. So that kind of ties into the last one. You fake it till you make it, you know, and, and just put out there that you're so accomplished and, and you will be. And the main thing is to never be ashamed of what you're doing. Um, I'm coming at this from a self-employed perspective. So if you're watching this video and you don't know about my other YouTube channel, one of my projects that I do is I do a Disneyland for adults. Try being 29 years old telling people that you do a Disneyland YouTube channel. I promise you get laughed at all the time. But you know what? I love it. And I really don't care what anybody else says. I help people all the time. I share the joy and what I get from going to Disneyland and all the travel tips that I know with people and they appreciate it. You know, I think that a huge massive chunk of success comes from being unashamed. So if you want to sing and you can sing, sing and don't be afraid to say I want to be a rock star. You should, you know, I think self-acceptance is the first step into being successful. My, um, I guess I have, yeah, my last tip, um, would be, I have two kind of last tips. I kind of got a little excited and I want to keep it to five. So I'm going to like condense these two. Um, I want to talk about being passionate about what you do. Um, and that I think that everyone, whether you think your, your life is boring or not, you, you are the hero of your own story. And let's think about this for a second. When I talked about faking it till you make it, who wants to read a book about a girl who muddles through life being mediocre and never really jumps out of her shell, right? I mean, that's not a good story to read. So we think understanding that you are the hero of your own story. You need to be extraordinary. And I think finding that passion and coupling that with never being ashamed of who you are will really propel you to success. Um, you know, again, it goes back to like I do a Disneyland channel. I'm not ashamed of it. I love it. And I want to do it well. So I am, you know, be, I'm passionate about it. I think no matter what you do in life, you should be passionate. Um, and my last tip, and this video is getting a little long, so I'll try and wrap it up here. My last tip, my number one tip, work your face off. Work all day, work all night, because regardless of what you're trying to accomplish in life, if you bust your butt every day, it will happen. And I'm not talking like the secret, you know, I don't want to pay bills or I don't want to have bills, therefore I don't pay them, therefore they don't exist, and therefore I have extra money kind of, you know, work your face off and, and try and make things happen. I mean, like, legit, work your face off. Find what you want to do in life and do it all the time. If you have a full-time job, you work eight hours a day. This is, like, the best advice I have ever gotten, and from a business perspective. It's from Gary Vaynerchuk, who, um, if you go to GaryVaynerchuk.com, he's a business social media guru, whatever. Um, 
but you know his big thing is you work nine to five, you get home, you eat with your family, you hang out between you know five and seven, then from seven till one or two in the morning, you have like a whole other like work day. If you want to make something of yourself and you need to work during the day to pay the bills, you have all night to work on what you want to do, whether that's singing, whether it's writing, whether it's you want to start an online pet store, you know, selling like handmade dog treats or something, I don't know. Point is, you have to work your face off and I think that, you know, that commitment to yourself will get you where you want to be. So I, I hope these tips were helpful to you. Um, I'm happy to share a little bit more about my background and, and the things that I've accomplished um, and, and things that I feel like make me successful. In another video, if that's what you guys like, leave me a message on Facebook. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, and I'm happy to share that with you too. So like I said, I hope these tips are helpful to you guys. And um, that if you have any tips on being successful, please share them with me. I would love to know. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.